Hello everybody, so today's video is a viewer request and what we're going to be doing is taking a second look at Game Center in iOS 4 just to show you guys that it does still work to this very day here at the end of 2019. Uh, however, the one caveat with this is that uh, you must be on iOS 4.1. Now on this iPhone 3GS, we're gonna go into settings general and about just to show you that it's on 4.1 right there. Um, for some reason, this doesn't work on 4.2.1. Um, let me quickly connect this to iTunes just to show you that it is on 4.2.1. Okay, here we are. And we'll see again, settings, general and about. This one is on 4.2.1. Um, which for whatever reason, Game Center is not compatible with. Um, as for iOS 4.3 through 4.3.5, I'm not exactly sure if it works on any of those versions. I haven't tested that. Just to show you what happens when we try to get into Game Center on 4.2.1, basically, um, try to sign in here. So you can see after about two minutes of loading, it'll just say, could not connect to the Game Center server. Um, you can retry, but it will never actually sign you in or load anything up. Um, similarly, if we go into a Game Center enabled game, um, same thing, it'll never pop up with any sort of login or anything like that. So, this is why we need to be on iOS 4.1, because for some reason it does work on that version. Now, Game Center was a new feature introduced in iOS 4.1. I am going to be showing you in this video how to downgrade to iOS 4.1 so that you can use Game Center. And it is very simple and straightforward to do that as long as you're using an iPod Touch 2nd or 3rd generation or an iPhone 3GS. It'll be super easy to downgrade to 4.1. If you're using an iPod Touch 4th generation or an iPhone 4, uh, this process will be a lot more complicated. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna show you on this iPod Touch 2nd generation. Now, in order to downgrade, you're going to need a computer and on that computer, you're going to need iTunes. Um, I'm assuming that the latest version of iTunes should work just fine for this. Uh, or in the case that you're using macOS Catalina, um, the Finder will be perfectly fine for this as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to a website, ipsw.me. Now in here, you're going to want to find your device in this case iPod Touch 2nd generation, you're going to find iOS 4.1. It's in green, so you know that it works. And download that file. Now that that's finished downloading, you're going to connect the iPod into the computer. There we go. And open either iTunes or the Finder. And on the side here where it says iPod Touch, click that. And first of all, what you're going to want to do is back up your data. So, right here, um, back up all the data on your iPod. And basically what this is going to do, it will save all of your data to your computer. Just in case something happens. And um, you can restore from that in case. So you're gonna click back up now. Now the unfortunate thing about all of this is that you won't be able to restore from this backup once we get to iOS 4.1, once we downgrade. Um, so what that means is that you won't be able to have all of your data placed back onto the iPod. Um, that's just the unfortunate truth about it, but this is the only way to get Game Center working on iOS 4. But you're still going to back it up just in case you ever want to go back up to 4.2.1. Then you can restore from that backup and have all your data back. 
Okay, so once it is backed up, you're going to here where it says restore iPod, either on Windows, hold down the shift key and click on that on Mac, hold down the option key and click on restore iPod. And then you're going to find the file you just downloaded 4.1. Open that and click restore. And you'll see just takes a couple of minutes for this to work. Okay, so now while that is restoring, I'm just going to show you quickly how to actually use Game Center once you're on iOS 4.1. And then once it's done restoring, I'll show you the same things on the iPod. So you can see that going into Game Center, I am signed out right now. Now, um, we're going to go into a game that supports Game Center. And you'll know that it supports Game Center if when you're in the App Store, you go to the app and you'll see this little Game Center icon um, below it. So we're gonna go into Tiny Tower and load this up. And what will happen is it'll pop up with a sign-in. And it's not necessarily a Game Center sign-in, um, but it will eventually get you there. So you're just gonna go to use ex existing account and sign in with your Apple ID. Click OK. Now, if you have two-factor authentication enabled on your Apple ID, like let's say you have a newer iOS device or Apple device in general, you'll most likely have this feature turned on. So what will happen is I'll say Apple ID verification code required. You're gonna grab a device where that code pops up. And what you're gonna do is hit back. It'll ask you to sign in again. You'll just type in your password. After your password, you will type in this code, 118112. And then it should sign you in to Game Center. Wait a few moments to see if anything happens. Okay. So in this case, it just says an existing save game has been found on the server. So um, we've successfully logged into Game Center. And sorry about that, but um, you can see my old tiny tower save here. So a nice feature of Game Center you can restore from previous uh, loads you've had. Um, now a lot of apps that support Game Center will have a little section here for Game Center and you can go in here and manage everything, see your achievements and that. And again, just going out of the app and we go back into the app, you'll see we should have a little banner right up here right there and that's how you'll know you're signed in so that is how you get game center activated going back into the actual game center app um i guess it's going to make us sign in again now once we're actually logged in here to game center um again since this is quite old um there's still some things that won't work for example like your games list uh, just doesn't load. You can still see your friends here, but, um, yeah, basically it's Game Center on 4.1, but it's better than just not loading at all, like on 4.2.1. Okay, now we have downgraded this iPod to 4.1. You can see that older iTunes logo. So again, you just have to connect it to iTunes to activate it, and there we go. Unlock. And now you'll see, if you go to settings, we are, in fact, on iOS 4.1. Um, quickly connect to my Wi-Fi. So again, I am signed out of Game Center. And going into an app that supports Game Center, we'll do a different one this time. In this case, Flow. 
and we get the same sign in prompt. Now, from what I found, um, you basically have to first go into the Game Center app and make sure that you are signed out. Um, so just wait for everything to load up for a few seconds and then go into a game and you'll get that pop up again. Okay, so now I have signed into Game Center. Some games you won't get any indication that you're signed in, uh, like this one. Sometimes there'll be messages, um, but it is signed in. Um, and it should sync all of your achievements and progress, everything like that, to Game Center. So I hope this video was helpful in getting iOS 4 Game Center working. Again, this only works on iOS 4.1. If you have any other questions, please comment down below or email me. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.